come no closer, ghost. I've seen you, creeping through the undergrowth, stalking me. This old kingdom. A terrible thing awakens. I can smell it in the air. I know what you are. I know what you tried to do. I can't allow it. Too weak, little ghost. No shadow will haunt me. Only pity for your cursed kind. Again we meet, little ghost. I'm normally quite perceptive. You I underestimated, though I've since guessed the truth. You've seen beyond this kingdom's bounds. Yours is a resilience born of two voids. It's no surprise then you've managed to reach the heart of this world. In doing so, you shall know the sacrifice that keeps it standing. If, knowing that truth, you'd still attempt the role in Hollowness perpetuation, seek the grave in ash, and the marker would grant to one like you. So you'd pursued the deeper truth. It isn't one the weak could bear. Prove yourself ready to face it. I'll not hold back. My needle is lethal, and I'd feel no sadness in a weakling's demise. Show me you can accept this kingdom's past, and claim responsibility for its future. Garama! Where does it draw this strength? Could this one succeed? So strong. You could do it, if you had the will. But could you raise your nail once knowing its tragic conception? And knowing yourself? Then do it, Ghost of Hollow Nest! Head onward! Burn that mark upon your shell, and claim yourself as king! <laughs> Ghost, I see you face the place of your birth, and now drape yourself in the substance of its shadow. Though our strength is born of a similar source, that part of you, that crucial emptiness, I do not share. Funny then that such darkness gives me hope. Within it, I see the chance of change. A difficult journey you would face, but a choice it can create. Prolong our world's stasis, or face the heart of its infection. I'd urge you to take that harder path. But what end may come, the decision rests with you. Face the void and ascend unscathed. Could it unite such vast darkness? So you've slain the beast, and you head towards that fated goal. I'd not have obstructed this happening. But it caused me some pain to know you stand idle. What? You might think me stern, but I'm not completely cold. We do not choose our mothers or the circumstance into which we are born. Despite all the ills of this world, I'm thankful for the life she granted me. It's quite a debt I owed. Only in allowing her to pass and taking the burden of the future in her stead, can I begin to repay it. Mother, forgive my inaction, but another path may be possible. Leave me now, ghost. Allow me a moment alone. 
before this bedchamber forever becomes a shrine. <laughs> to you haunt my dreams? Little ghost, what dreams we share. The path is opened. One way or another, an end awaits inside. I won't be joining you in this. That place is built to sustain your likes. Its bindings would drain me, were I to join. Don't be surprised. I'll not risk my own life in your attempt. Though if the moment presents, I'll aid as I'm able. Could it achieve that impossible thing? Should it? Ghost of Hollow Nest, you possess the strength to enact an end of your choosing. Would you supplant our birth curse sibling? Or would you transcend it? <laughs>